All right, folks, uh, we are here. It is Fractal and Sidnev, a very familiar matchup. Don't want to give any spoilers out there, but I'm sure you've seen this matchup sometime before. We're going to see how it goes. Let's get them started here. Round one, orange bracket, number one and number 16 seed Fractal and Sidnev. Three, two, one, Tetris. matchup uh was the of course this is a round one matchup here in the orange bracket here in february and january just last month this was this is not a spoiler this was the finals this was the finals and now it is a one round one matchup and you may recognize this of course as the finals of the other leading brand of classic tetris tournament which i think is called classic tetris World Championship. I think they would call themselves the World Championship. And uh, Fractal came out ahead in that one. Fractal, a seven-time winner of Classic Tetris monthly events. He's the defending winner. Fractal 114. Five consecutive Tetrises to start off the game. 91,000 here for Fractal. I mean, for uh, for Sidnev. I'm going to do that. Oh, my God. And a little bit droughted here at the beginning. Players having to weather an early drought. There we go. Going to take that triple Sidnev. Get the long bar down for the Tetris. A little bit of work to do to uncover this gap. There's Tetris for Fractal. and that's clean and clear but yeah seven times ctm masters events or lone star event whatever you want to call it winner for fractal major ctm victories also your reigning ctwc champion finished runner up the year before 2022 ctwc so a lot of winning oh and also of course just recently won the genesis regional which was just uh, last week. And the Genesis Regional as well. So a lot of winning happening on Fractal's side. And we got winning on Sidnev's side. Uh, you know, most, I mean, all of Sidnev's major wins, I think, have come in PAL events, interestingly. So, did win CTM PAL, August, September, 2023. And a back-to-back -back winner at the Classic Tetris European Championships. One of those times in 2021 beating Fractal. These players have played a lot of uh, series against one another. Thir they've played each other in matches 13 times in CTM. Uh, not, no, uh, not just CTM, but in uh, major tournaments. 13 times. Fractal winning those series nine to four. Fractal from the United States, Texas. Can I say that? Is that okay if I say Texas? Sidnev from the Netherlands. 336 Fractal, 340. I mean, sorry, 336 Sidnev, 368 Fractal. I'm gonna put a Tetris on there. I'm gonna, it's early. This match, uh, this broadcast started at 8 a.m. Texas, uh, Texas time. I've gotten zero sleep, literally zero sleep. I apologize if I'm uh, confusing names or numbers or facts. Y'all are used to that anyway. Sid have, of course, no stranger to deep runs in CTM. Kind of notorious here. Six second place finishes in CTM Masters, including last month, dating back to August twenty uh, August uh, twenty twenty one, which was against Fractal. Was that against Fractal? Wasn't that was that a was that a Sidnev Fractal? finals yeah i mean so these, these players they get to the finals a lot against each other so really kind of a, a rivalry i think 
the animosity, but certainly long history playing each other in high stakes Tetris. I am Kim with the Prime resub, 19 months. Thank you so much. I am Kim. Five twenty-five sitting at five sixty-eight fractal as we approach the level nineteen transition here in game one. Sitting uh, looking for a J piece. Now looking for an L piece. Now uses a square, uh, a long bar, and uh, needs to uncover four lines away from the 19 transition. Getting drouted. There's two of those lines. Gonna have to take a double and getting drouted. 6:45 transition. Fractal. Complicated board here for Sidnev. That long bar is gonna come very handy. Not out of the woods yet. Both players, of course, getting same piece sets, so they're all getting the same drought. Fractal scrambling to survive here. You can see that drought. Uh, frustrating, but finally gets the Tetris down, and that is going to be survival for Sidnev 607. Flip it and ship it. There's another Tetris, Sidnev 633. Tetris Fractal 756, both players with clean, low boards. And good. And just as I say that, of course, Fractal going to misdrop that L piece to the left. That's going to take... Oh, no, and that another long bar to the left. Another misdrop Fractal. All right, Sidnev here. Incredulous. But will uncover that right side, maybe experiencing misdrops or controller problems. I'll uncover that right side, long bar over Tetris. 730 Sidnev. Fractal just about out of this uh, this dig, resulting from those two misdrops. Fractal is when uh, the last three meetings in a row between between the two of them. I think it was last month. And uh, I don't remember the one before that, but then I think it was uh, there was a meeting in October, and then of course there was the CTWC final. All right, it's the middle of Sidnev's board. A little spiry there with that long bar kind of sticking a middle finger out in the middle of the board there. But bringing it down. 924 Sidnev, 860 Fractal. Nine thirty three fractal nine ninety four Sidnev. Sidnev's got the max out here. Level twenty eight, another Tetris down. One line to burn. Actually, set up for another Tetris. Gets a Tetris into twenty nine. So here we go. One point one transition for Sidnev. It gets a gets a L for that right side, trying to bring this stack down. Fractal transitions with the Tetris A47, so about a 60,000 point differential at transition. Sidnev is clean again. And long bar over Tetris. Sidnev's got the 1.2 fractals board. Getting complicated, climbing, and that square to the left, not gonna get over, uh, and that is gonna block it off. So Sidnev is good in game number one. Give the dot. I think we got a, you know, dog, I mean, canine watching Tetris is playing, so we gotta do the dots from the bottom. Sidnev 
Sidnev up one game to none. It is game two. Let's go. Three to one Tetris in this rematch of last month's finals. During round one. Players uh, play it a lot. They have a deep history. Of course, uh, they're a very famous meeting in the Classic Country's World Championship Finals. Reverse sweep by Fractal, but also a similarly strong uh, finals from Sidnev in SeaTech 2021. I didn't realize this. I was I was looking into it. I was like, I know these guys have played a lot against me. I didn't realize the SeaTech because I didn't watch it that year. But that was a situation where both players played in the winner. It was double elimination. Both players played in the winner's finals. They both didn't lose up until the winner's finals. Fractal knocks Sidnev down to the loser's bracket. Sidnev wins that loser's bracket game to get back into the grand finals against Sidnev, but had to do a bracket reset, winning, basically winning two matches in a row, and did it. Won that first match, reset the bracket, beat Fractal again. So, a lot of history between these two. Oh, El Pelton says Fractal was rolling then, and Sidnev was still tapping. So they have both had, you know, massive come from behind victories to take major tournaments against each other. 208 Sid, of course, that was a uh, Pal Tetris. Oh, there's a line spin, kind of delayed spin there from Fractal. I'll count it. Tetra Sidnev, 276, 196 fractal. That's an 80,000 point lead. Tony on Twitch with the uh, online pack. 2021 was the only C Tech that was won by a tapper. So I'm assuming it was Dask before and then Rollers after. Yeah, was that, uh, yeah, that's a good question, uh, Windcraft. Was that basically 15, 16 Tetrises in a row? Tetris Fractal 337, 373 Sidnev was cruising for a while, but now it just has this weird looking stack with gaps and overhangs. Trying to clean all this up efficiently. Awkward J placement, but actually should clear away fairly efficiently. Fractal from the USA. Sidnev from the Netherlands. It doesn't, it doesn't sound like a real place. It sounds like a fictional place. Fractal 414 Sidnev to an extended digging sequence and no Fractal going to top out 414 just did not have a good stack and then did not get good pieces uh, so Fractal is good in game number two going to tie it up
All right, both players are ready. What was once a best of five, now a best of three. Between these two great players, Fractal and Sidnav, three, two, one, Tetris. Sidnev with her characteristic one push down point. Famous for that. And I don't think it's coming to play yet, but you know, just psychologically, there might be an edge there to the point. Sidnev looking for a couple of J pieces. Like I'm filling that middle. Didn't need the J. All right, gonna get that S spin. That's gonna help down that right side. Trying to avoid taking a burn here. Ends up having to take a couple. Is now Tetris ready? One more burn, and then the Tetris. 117 Sidnev, 115 Fractal. Fractal gonna get that Tetris 138. Fractal's, uh, Fractal's CTM debut, if I remember this correctly. I think it was, it was the garbage egg. <laughs> it was the, it was the tournament where garbage egg got to the, to the finals. And Fractal was actually knocked out by garbage egg. Unknown player. Turned out to be Niner. But at that time, we did not know that. Q34 Fractal 217 Sidnev. Was he cheating or just alting? Uh, he's alting. But ended up getting to the finals against Joseph. Thankfully, did not... I mean, not thankfully, but... I don't want to have an alter... Never want to have an alter win or set a big record in the in a CTM Masters. That would be horrible. <laughs> I know. Ja yeah, I was gonna. That's. I was kind of alluding to Jounce there, Game Scout. What is an alter? Well, an alt is like an alternative screen name that you're not known by normally. So as to obscure your identity. And we don't allow that. You gotta play under system name. Or at least make it, if you're gonna change your name, you gotta make it. You gotta have one, or one, one unified persona. 402 Fractal 401 Sidnev. Debatable there, Gravity Child. What happened to Garbage Egg? Well, Garbage Egg was a community member, is a community member named Niner80. Still. Doesn't play competitive anymore, but still shows up to events sometimes for streams, other Tetris games. Four seventy Sidnev, yeah, ended up getting to the finals against Joseph. Joseph, of course, was in his string of dominance around that time. Well, kind of alternating with Corey on around. Corian was still winning. Well, no, Corian, no. Well, let me think about this. Was Corian still winning 
he might have won one in the 2020. Like, yeah. I, God, I don't remember. All the years, especially that COVID year, it's all foggy. 482 Sidnef, 520 Fractal. Oh my God, I just said the C word. I'm going to get demonetized. Oh, most obscure second place finish says Matt Schoolmaster. Game Scout says SQR. I don't think either of them are obscure. Except maybe to, you know, the newer people. But both of them were, you know, pretty well known. Sidnev is into 19 at 522. Fractal. Look at that long bar over. Awkward transition needs the bar or now doesn't need a bar. I need some. Oh, that's a beautiful L piece. That's going to help a lot. Back to not power of the woods yet. There's Tetris over there sitting at 577. Fractal still scrambling here into level 20. Uncovers that right side. Takes a triple and a Tetris is alive. 629 maintains a lead. Sitting at Tetris is 605. Oh yeah, Galumba, right? Galumba. Second place finisher. A lot of interesting second place finisher. I mean, Galumba is a little obscure just because I don't think we've ever had a face reveal. But Galumba did play in the lab. A lot of, well, a run of events there. I mean, really, no one's obscure. I think it's really know everybody. I don't think ever faced with you. I mean, really didn't know much of it. Seven, uh, 700,000 Sidnev, Tetris Fractal 796. To this day, you hear people say Galumba stacking. Yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of, I don't know, I think kind of innovative stacking where these like are just setting up a series, like basically tuck spires. Just setting up tuck after tuck after tuck setup. And it's either going to be miraculous downstacking or it's going to totally blow up. And that's exactly what happened to Galuma time after time. A very talented tapper. 779 Sidnev, 872 Fractal. Oh, that left side for Fractal gets the bar over. And another bar over needs a something. That long bar will help clear it out. And now can start taking some some burns here. Gets a longer down for the Tetris. Maintains lead 922, 885. Sidnev. Clip it and ship that. Yeah, kind of going down the nostalgia hole today. But I'm here for it. We are in our seventh year. Six complete years now in our seventh year. That's crazy. Max out Fractal. Two lines to go. Sidnev is already into 29 at 999. Longbar column nine gets a Tetris A35. Fractal with the Tetris, A84. Sidnev trying to bring some order to this board. Keeping it low, keeping it flat. Taking the burns. You never want to say safe at this level, but oh my goodness, that start, immediately starts climbing up again. Fractal with the BO5, A61, Sidnev. Oh, did, uh, did Fractal have the perfect B000000? <laughs> Amazing. Both players set up their Tetris Sidnev B12. Tetris Fractal C04. Another Tetris Sidnev. Both these players capable of just setting up and getting these Tetrises. Tetris Fractal. Remember, we've got Dan V waiting in the wings to play the winner of this. Crazy that one of these players has to go out in round one. Oh, Sidnev, beautiful delayed burn, gets a Tetris. 
Column four, one row off the bottom. C13, Fractal, a D01 clean board. Tetris Sidnev, C61. And now just 30 lines to go for Sidnev, backed by about a Tetris. There's a Tetris Fractal. He's got the, the oh no, and there, that is going to be a top out for Sidnev. And could not get the bar, was set up, needed a bar down there. D05 top out. Fractal is good in game number three. Gonna be a top out for Fractal. We've got the F15. All right, both players are ready. Fractal is up two games to one over Sidnev. Sidnev needs to win this one to stay in. Fractal can clinch it. This game right here. Let's go. Three, two, one. Tetris. to drop there. All right, Fractal going to uh, uncover that well over the right side. Gets a Tetris down. We are underway. Sidnev gets a Tetris. Players with Tetris is Sidnev with the Vitz. Fractal enduring the roommate situation. somebody were in the room with me playing i would i would be so distracted we, we were kids you know uh i was like you know we would play nintendo in the same room you know we'd get a couple of friends together play play nintendo if i was on a good run and then like a friend was in the room and he just like moved around at the wrong time i would definitely blame the friend for me screwing up all the time like oh that was you you moved don't move you know, I'm playing Tyson. I just, you know, I got a star off Tyson. And then you moved and I ru you ruined it. One ninety one fractal two oh seven Sidnev. Uh yeah, I was always blaming my friends for me being bad at video games. Turns out uh now I have no friends. And I'm still bad at video games. So what does that tell you? <laughs> All right, 217 Fractal, 253 Sidnev. Fractal going to tuck that square in there, uncover that right side long bar for both of them, Tetrises for both. Fractal back by 33,000 points. That's a Tetris and a half. Tetris is worth level 18, 22,800. Which is 1,200 points less than 24,000. Dan Weller is waiting in the wings. I don't know if he's actually waiting. I think he's waiting in his room, but he'll be taking on the winner of this match. Crazy that one of these players has to go out in round one. Both finals caliber players. But of course, they'll have a much easier match having to play Dan V. <laughs> Kid Dan V. Dan V, of course, our intrepid 
YouTube editor and uploader. So if you have any complaints about our YouTube uploads, then uh, yeah, let us complain during this match for the next match. All right, Sidnev with that hang of the L piece was a little bit early, ended up getting another L piece in short order. So no harm, no foul. Build up that left side with that piece. $19.97 contribution from Tetris Herman. Thank you so much, Tetris Herman. That brings us to $135. If you want to make sure these players keep coming back every single month to play the best Tetris you've ever seen every single month, well, the number one way you can make sure that that happens is to contribute to the prize pool. You can go to ctm.gg slash matcharino. That will redirect you to the landing page for this tournament on the Matcharino website. Matcharino is our partner going on like a couple of years now. You're a top partner for them. And what Matcharino does is they handle all the, you know, all the contributions that come in from you folks. Nice neat little service package, whatever. Really helps us out. So if you want to contribute to the prize pool, you got sponsor quests. Those are free little internet tasks you can do. 554 Fractal. 657 huge pace from Sidnev. And there are paid ways to contribute to the prize pool as well. So if you want to help out the scene, make sure these players keep on coming back, make it worth it for them to keep putting in the time to practice. Well, prize pool will we'll do that. If we don't see any of it, goes all to the players. Patrino charges a small fee for the server. Thanks to Matcherino. Thanks to everybody who's contributed this month and every month. Love to get some more smaller contributions in there. You know, five and ten dollars. That would be good. Six eighty-seven fractal. Six ninety-three. Sidnev in a close one. Sidnev going to use that long bar to build out column nine. Get a Tetris seven nineteen. Anyway, ctmgg Matcherino. That's how to get there. Seven forty-five. Sidnev. Fractal uncovers Tetris open. There's a bar. There's a Tetris 742. Tetris. So they are close. They're within 2,000 points of one another. There's the T-spin setup for Sidnev. Gets it. Fractal is going to work, cleaning some of this up. Oh, it's actually setting up for the dirty one row off the bottom. Beautiful. Yeah, he's going to handle that right side. No, he's going to keep building. He's not going to take that, you know, take those burns. He's going to try to clean this out efficiently. And another Tetris 870. They're separated by 261 points. All right, Fractal going to take that double. There is a beautiful. Tetris for Fractal. Then he's going to go to work trying to shift that well over to the right side. Dirty Tetris uh, of her own for Sidnev, 964. About 45,000 points ahead. All right, players experiencing a drought. There's a T-spin, Sidnev, crucial, gonna uncover that well. And another little mini drought. We prefer doing things our own way. Sidnev's board starting to climb. Gets that S-spin, crucial, takes a skim and a Tetris. Sidnev has the max out on 27 and another Tetris. So A48 and another Tetris, A83. 100,000 point lead. Basically same line count now for Sidnev. Fractal with the max out. Two lines away from the 29 transition. Sidnev needs to win this game to stay in the tournament. 
Fractal is into 29. He's got an A62. Sidnev is in at B26. Tony on Twitch says that drought wasn't many. Yeah, it ended up uh, going a while. Fractal gets a long bar over for the Tetris, but has left himself a really jacked up board. Long bar to the right gets over. I don't know if anyone has more experience than Fractal digging at this height. Sidnev open, gets a Tetris down the right side. C26. Long bar over to the right for Fractal will bring this stack down a bit with a double. Sidnev going to uncover, but has to bring this stack down. Oh, left side. We need a long bar. $1.99. Super chat from Trave. Thank you so much. B81 Fractal. Sidnev still with about that 100,000 point lead. Fractal will get a Tetris. Clean boards, both of them. Sidnev, Tetris. Fractal using that long bar, going aggro on that left side. Gets a Tetris, C89. There is one for Sidnev. About a 95,000 point lead. And kind of running out of time, Fractal. And the board is not super clean. He's going to need to downstack this very quickly and then start trying to just force in some Tetrises. He's got 27 lines to go until the 39 super kill screen. And Sidnev has a great board. Really doesn't need to do anything except just keep on piling on points. That S piece is probably going to spell the end of it in this game for Fractal. Sidnev is good in game four. Is going to tie it up. We'll see. 5,000 points away from the rollover. Sidnev uncovers, gets it. Tetris has the rollover. That is 1.6 million points. And another Tetris over. And another Tetris over. 1.7 uh, million points for Sidnev in this game. Fractal has got merely 1.3. All right, both players are ready, or at least they say they're ready. So let's go ahead and get them started. What was once a best of five, now down to a best of one. The winner moves on to round two against Dan Weller. Let's go. Three, two, one, Tetris. Uh, those, are, those are not the same seed. Fractal started off with two S's, right? Those are not the, those can't be the same seed. Those are not the same seed. Let's restart. Top out. I didn't check it this time. The one time I didn't check it. And it was Fractal who got it wrong. Fractal got it wrong. New pieces. Now I got to do that whole build up all over again. You guys are killing me. Our practice is killing me. Sitting there. Doing that. Ay, ay, ay. Stop chatting for a second so I can pin this to the message. Okay, there we go. EB39 Alpha 3. I will check it this time. EB39A3. EB39A3. Okay, they got it. All right, it is a decider between Fractal and Sidnev, as it usually is. Let's go ahead and get this underway. Once a best of five now, best of three. Three, two, one, Tetris. Santa Hater says, was that just practice? Well, we use the same piece sets. Once in a while, a player will get the little code for the piece sequence wrong, and they'll start out with, you know, different piece sequences. So if we catch it early enough, we restart the game.
All right, both players starting off perfect. Actually, you have a little more than perfect with that one push down point. Dan V says there should be a stat for how often players enter the seed wrong or if they start on Tetris, then we can ban the player who tops the list. I, you know, I'm not 100% not in favor of that. Use a double negative. Danisov says both players are on max out pace. Stanislaw, hope you're doing well. Stanislaw, one of our patrons at patreon.com slash monthly Tetris. And it's a great way to ensure the continued existence of Classic Tetris Monthly. It's been going on for seven years, or going on seven years. Well, that is not guaranteed, so I'm going to make sure it does continue. Support it. 229 Sidnev, Fractals board. Kind of jacked up. That long bar will look nice over there in column three. So we'll start to bring this down. Still in round one. <laughs> We're two hours in and we're still in round one. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Two players in this match owe uh, Dan V a sandwich or something next time they see him. He's had to wait for a while. You, know, you get technical problems. You get. Uh, Adrenaline timeouts, and then decider. Say My Name says, has there been any thinking about 19 starts allowed in comp? There's been a lot of thinking, and there has been almost universal rejection. Has there been any thinking at all? And we were like, oh, no, it never I never occurred to me. I thought, wow, we have 19 star, what? Yes. Tetra Sidnev, 446, 316, Fractal. Sidnev with a 100,000 point lead. Must win game for both of them. Fractal are defending CTM Masters champion. Oh no, sir. We prefer doing things our own way. Fractal setting up for a slightly dirty Tetris. One row off the bottom. Trying to build around this drought. Sidnev weathering it well because, you know, low on the board. Fractal not low on the board. And now this is critical. Long bar over and another long bar over into 19. That was so close to the 19 transition. Two long bars really bailed Fractal out of that one. And there are the two long bars coming for Sidnev into 19 at 617. Petra Sidnev 642. So up by about 630, I mean, 136,000 points. That would be a big lead.
Tetris Fractal 560. No, oh, I can't believe I have to do another match after this. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, I'm not supposed to be awake at 10 a.m. on Saturday. I'm supposed to be sleeping till about 1 in the afternoon. Tetris Sidnev 772, 180,000 point lead. There's a Tetris Fractal and one for Sidnev, so maintaining that lead. Oh, Gruntiatis wants more time with me? No thanks. Oh my God. Welcome, Gruntiatis. Legendary speedrunner, although not necessarily due to uh, you know any accomplishments, but just his beard and his Canadianness. <laughs> Seven thirty nine fractal. How, how, what, do you, what do you say? Canadianacity? What do you? How do you say? What would you say? I don't know. Canadian hood. Yes, there is still a round two match after this. It feels like we've been doing this broadcast since Thursday. 804 Fractal 957 Sidnev. All right, Tetris Sidnev has the max out on 25. This is a really trolly seed. Fractal's been playing higher up on the board. Long bar over to the right. Long bar to the left. Oh, my word. The survival opens up the right. A triple and a Tetris. So Fractal still safe, still in it. A99 Sidnev. It's almost a 1.1. 902 now. 937 Fractal. One line away from the 29 transition. That came pretty fast. Fractal would love to get that long. Okay, that's going to bring the stack down and get a Tetris 973. Fractal into 29. And uh, this is all going to come together very quickly. B71 Sidnev. gets a tetris and has a 1.2 transition so this is like uh this is a classic sidnev transition fractals board kind of a mess that left side and he is scrambling oh 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 my goodness how does fractal survive this how is this survivable this is crazy C32 Sidnev board climbing. And that is going to be a top out for Sidnev. So this is all up to Fractal. The target is C38. And Fractal with the amazing survival. And now has an opportunity. Has 53 lines to do this. Needs 140,000 points. Tetris is here worth uh, north of 40,000. And it's set up for one Tetris right here. Skims and a Tetris B25. It's about 36 lines. Gonna take a skim here. Set up for another Tetris. Has to block the well. There's a Tetris B85. There's another Tetris C38, and that is going to be a chase down for Fractal. Oh, my word. Sidnev had topped out um, and had a 140,000-point lead. Fractal had 50 lines to chase down 140,000 points uh, on level 29 speed. And we'll get that Tetris, and Fractal will win this decider. Hey everybody, this is your old pal, Van Dweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, 
hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.